So there's one condition in capitalism under which you will get a job. You will have to produce more for your employer than the employer pays you. So for those of you that have been saying to one another, I'm not going to work for anybody who doesn't pay me what I'm worth, you don't understand this system. That's not going to happen. You're in the wrong country at the wrong time historically. That's more likely for you to be hit by lightning than to discover that situation. You are always going to be ripped off in your job in capitalism because that's the way the system works. But don't worry, there are a lot of people, including lots of economics professors, who will give you one story after another instead of what I just told you so that you don't get distressed while you're being ripped off because it might make you resist, which we can't have that. But in capitalism, it turns out we've got exactly the same kind of system as we had in slavery and feudalism. Why? Because the worker has to produce more, a surplus, than he gets which goes to somebody else. It's the employer who sells the hour's worth of output you help produce for $40 and pays you 20. And what's left over, he gets, just as the master got the surplus the slave produced or the feudal lord got the surplus that the serf produced. One of the great insights of the most profound thinkers about capitalism is that Capitalism wasn't the end of slavery or feudalism. It's a changed form of them. No more slave. No more serf. But surplus being produced by one part of the population, enabling another part to live off of it, that hasn't changed at all. And that means what also hasn't changed is in the heart of the capitalist system is a conflict, a tension an opposition, a resentment, an anger, and a bitterness between those who are constantly producing more than they get and those who live off that difference. And if you're a capitalist, an employer, what, of course, is your interest? To give the worker the least possible while getting the most out of them because that's the biggest surplus they can get. And the more surplus they have, the more secure they'll be. It's the same old pro same problem the slave master had in relationship to the slave or the feudal lord in relationship to the serf. So for those of you that have already worked in your lives and wondered why, at the end of many a day, you felt somehow ripped off, it's because you were. And if you tried to find a place where you could shake off this sense of being ripped off, you found one. The neighborhood tavern that offered you at the end of your day a happy hour that you know was there and given that name precisely because it was in a remarkable way different from all the preceding hours, wasn't it? <laughs> 